ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Some more Gamora this week, man. I'm doing one episode per week. Probably going to be a little bit different once it gets to YouTube, but one episode per week on Patreon right now. So if you want to check out these episodes early, make sure that you go check on. By the time you guys are seeing this on YouTube, it'll be far ahead on Patreon so you can have early access to those episodes. All right, so go check it out. Anyways, guys, let's jump into this reaction. Things are getting wild right now. Jenny is stepping up at the cost of his friendship with Cyril. Uh, I mean, I don't know what Cyril is going to do. He's being pushed to the back burner by everybody and stuff like that. I don't know if he's going to turn into a rat or a snitch. I don't know what he's planning to do because he's been shunned pretty hard right now. And I'm pretty sure he's not liking his stance with this family right now. <laughs> so what will his decision be? Who knows? Sorry about that. So let's jump into the reaction and I will see you guys right after for the review. Oh, man. I just thought it was enough for the I And me you, no, Danny. Damn, that easy? Calciafa. Sa da brolla in duro. È un progetto a cui teniamo molto. Un polo di intrattenimento della cultura per recuperare una zona. Mamma mia, mica ci fatti palla tanto e è tutto per noi, no? Babbo, come ci organizziamo? Imprese vostre. Opere nostre, però. Ha già avuto a fare un sacco di promesse per far leggere a sto struzzo. Ha già parlato con Conte. Ma penso che non ci stanno problemi. A posto. Invece un problema ci sta. I fratelli romani. L'autosalone che sta proprio là. Mi sa tutto cosa. Oggi io sono andato. Mi hanno detto che l'autosalone è indoccabile. Era buon anno per rubare. Ci tu ci pensi tu? Ci pensi? A posto a così. Figlio un giorno si spacca la capa. Ah, è troppo dura la capa. Ma chi è? Un scemo. Un innamorato mio. Bellile, eh? Oh, vero, è bellissimo. Gennaro Savastana si sente un padre eterno. Si pensa che è diventato come a suo padre, si pensa. Il mio Jenny sarà ancora a coro con Conte e tutte le altre famiglie. E quando se no? Caserici, Don Salvatore come sta? Lo sapete, Ais. Prega e lavora. Lavora e prega. E sta contento come stanno sistemate le cose? E chi non è contento, mo? Portateci i saluti miei. Why did he hesitate to shake his hand? <laughs> I think there's an agenda behind it. This dude just comes and goes as he pleases. It's <laughs> important for you. Per voi qualsiasi cosa, sì. Vai, va. Uè! Sì. Maru. Che ma fanno ci? Già papà non fa sci, figuriamoci con te. E torniamo presto. Venga a scuola, rimane. I guess this episode is... about this kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma non fa così, non ci avremmo mai. Ma quando ci avremmo ti metti a chiangere, ah. Eh? Eia, yeah, mamma. Oh, frate. Come stai? Bene, è il lavoro, tutto a posto. È bellezza. Vuoi titolare, ma va bene. Pensaci tu, mamma. La vecchia non può che esaurita. Non ho fatto un'usata, ma raccomando. Sta senza benzina. Ciao, Dani. Older brother, is he working for Conti? Well, that's the Conti they were talking about. Yo! Hey, 
are not playing, bro. Bruh, just to get the showroom? Bruh. They are vicious, man. Watch out. Hello? I fratelli Romani stanno a posto. E sei un bravo soldato. Quindi dirige la sabato, qualsiasi cosa ci stanno proprio. Sierra was supposed to be that guy. Voglio dedicare questa canzone alla festeggiata. Auguri. Il la Dana Ricciannova. E tu vuoi fare? Sì, che voglio fare. Però noi ci siamo fatti tutte le guerre di Don Pietro. E stiamo ancora qua. E ringrazio per stare ancora qua. Avevo di fare fin trattili e di tutto quanto là. Hai tre sono uno soldato. I soldati stanno volo solo in guerra. Ma che buono fa, Ciro? Ah, guerra, tu su. Su lì? Perché tu non stai con me? Quando era piccirillo e stava all'orfanotrofio, sai che mi dicevano le suore? O da ramoto e volere il Dio. Fa bene alla terra. Finché usa libera e sfoga. O muore. E ciò da ramoto è una cosa buona. I don't know what's gonna happen, but <laughs> Ciro is that man is not gonna be he's not happy, bro. Che pensate la devi un rito concessionario? Niente. Non c'è un affare mio. Non ha fatto nessun effetto. Capace. Ma prima si si capace. Tie. Ma che stai? Andando un film. Dritto. A così curata. Si pronto? Dritto su braccio. A così. Ferma. Uno su due. È buono, è buono. A sparare all'uomo è nata cosa? C'è i vicino. Ehi, tu mi metti a paura. <laughs> Man. E chi non l'ha? L'hai visto? Pezzi e merda che non può pagare i debiti. Si chiama Donino Russo. Non ce l'hanno spiegato con calma, ma essi non hanno capito. Hai detto che sa da fare rimanere a sera. Domani sera. Ma non ci sta nessuno. Tu vieni qua, tu lo fai. E te ne torna subito da casa. Hai capito? A casa. This is not okay, bro. Credo che stai cagando subito. This little kid, man. Ma quando va? Questo è solo un racconto. Ehi, ho visto quando hai fatto tutte cose. È solo l'inizio. Mo' scena. But I feel like he's gonna. I think he's gonna kill this guy, and he's gonna he's gonna die as a result of it. Either Siri is gonna take him out. To not leave. You know, leave any evidence. He's a loose end. He's gonna become a loose end if he kills this guy. Everything being pushed to tomorrow, man. Oh my god. It's There's good, red flags man. all around this character right now. The fact that he's being featured for an episode is just red flags everywhere. <laughs> I'd be hella surprised if he survives this episode, bruh. Is he gonna propose? Okay. Va benissimo. Perfetto. Ma dopo che lei ci sa che se le fa sparire. Si dà di ancora un gol mentre stai in coppa a motocicletta, vai chiana. Perché si ti fermano su cazzo. Hai capito? Oh, what's gonna happen with this kid, man? <laughs> hey, that or he's gonna end up getting killed here. What you got, kid? Don't 
let him get away? <laughs> well, he said he was ready. You better hope that man doesn't survive. Yo, wipe your prints, my guy. He just became a stone cold killer, honey. I don't know, bro. You're making a lot of future plans. <laughs> That's, I'm telling you, that's who his brother, that's who his older brother works for. His brother works for the Contes, too. <laughs> I still don't think he's gonna survive this episode. Man. I think Zero is gonna kill him, bro, because he's a loose end. Pretty sure he doesn't want this coming back to him because they have no idea who killed the dude. Tonino, or whatever his name is. <laughs> oh, shit. He knows what's going on. He picked up on what's going on. Because he's serious. That's what I said. Ciro knows that he's a loose end. And Ciro sent them dudes to, to take care of him. Leave town. <laughs> Oh, I hope this kid doesn't get killed in his place. At least he has a friend to look out for him. I told you that they were gonna kill him, bro. Don't tell me he's gonna go pick up his girl. If Syrah picks up his girl, yo. I mean, she doesn't know what who, what Bruno looks like, so if Syrah picks her up, he could just pretend to be Bruno. Like, I feel so bad for this kid because he was roped in. By that time. You can pick her up and say he's Bruno. Yeah, it's the girl. <laughs> Shit, man. Bruh. Has he been hitting her? Bruh. She doesn't know where he is, though. She still got some fight in her. Hey man, who lodged it wrong? Non da chiamato. Tengo cellulare scarica. E paro metto d'un cestino. Dani, tu te ne devi andare a ca. Mi sto futtendo la paura. Ci ne vuoi riuscire a capire sta? Mi siete una branca di strunzo, si tutto quanto è una branca di strunzo. E basta. Cercatelo, trovatelo. <laughs> Pretty boys. <laughs> Pretty boy over here. Conti. <laughs> Envia una corona alla famiglia. 
E mandami il cibo, coso. È il trasportista, come si chiama? Massimo. No. Getting toyed by Sirte, no. I know he was essentially going to be like a a scapegoat for the entire thing because it's like Oh god he turned his phone back on. All'inizio si era pensato ad un omicidio in rappresaglia dell'assassinio di Tonino Russo, poi però gli credi hanno scoperto che il cadavere è carbonizzato all'interno di questa vettura è quello di una donna, di un anello con una coroncina di brillanti. Intanto che si cerca di capire qual è l'identità di questa ragazza trovata carbonizzata, gli inquirenti si pongono una domanda. Alla... You need to leave town, my guy. So I see you gotta make sure who you getting mixed up with, man. Gotta be sure who you getting mixed up with, bro. Oh shit, he's going to Conti. I thought it was him there, but... Oh no, you need to hear what your bro has to say, man. He's not getting nothing from nobody. That, oh no. Come on, dude, don't. He's like, only, it's only a matter of time. Right, you can't leave town, do something. Try to leave town or something. You gotta be so that was a heavy episode, man. That's what I that's why I was like, I'll be surprised. Yeah, you know I'm saying if he survives the episode. It, the red flags were all around this episode, man. If you've watched enough TV, you could tell that this just wasn't gonna end well. You know what I'm saying? Um great episode nonetheless. Let's talk about it. Um, so Gomorrah man, episode nine. Um, <laughs> you gotta be so careful whether you're a, whether you're a kid whether you're an adult you gotta be so careful who you get mixed up with because it's not always peaches and cream you know what i'm saying it's not always what you think it is and things throughout the episode things kept escalating for him escalating from one thing we got introduced to his character in the last episode and then in this episode it concentrated a lot more around him and it's just like i bet you sir is gonna ask this guy to do something that he should not be doing and he's gonna get mixed up too heavily in this crew um the minute that i saw that zero had a problem that he could get this kid to fix you know what i'm saying and use him I knew he was gonna do that. Zero is one of my favorite characters in the show, but at the same time, he's still a he's still a part of the mob. You know what I'm saying? He's still a part of the mob. So we can't forget, like I'm not sitting here thinking that Zero is a good person. That's not the reason why he's one of my favorite characters. It's just that this entire world, this entire world revolves around the mob, right? This universe that we're thrown into. This is the mob life. This is what they do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he wrote the kid in, gave him a task. He pulled off the task. Didn't really tell him what was it, what, what, what was it about? And then I started to tell you guys that he's going to become a loose end. They're going to have to take him out because this kid is, is, he's, you know what I'm saying? He's nobody to the people yet. He's not a part of the mob or anything like that. Um, and I think, I think maybe they're going to figure it out. I think Jenny might figure out what's going on. Um, I think that this kid is, you know, when they find him dead, you know what I'm saying? When they find him dead, I think what's going to happen is Jenny's probably going to put two and two together. If he, if he is up to the task to put it up together, because I'm pretty sure this is a big deal because now Conte th thinks that Jenny was behind this hit, right? He thinks that he's behind, behind this hit, and which is not the case. Jenny wanted to work 
with the con with contest with you know with everything that's been happening i mean they had a deal so it's it's crazy how when you look at it from a standpoint of what's happening in their world and how it is really because it's like you still even as an individual it may not be a gang or it may not be anything criminal but you still got to be so careful with who you get mixed up with because you never know what those people's true intentions are for you you know what i'm saying you still got to choose your friends wisely um whether you know whether it's illegitimate business or legitimate business you got to be careful who you're getting in partnership with because you never know what it could turn out to be people get screwed people get betrayed all the time whether it's you know whether it's good or not good you know what i'm saying whatever it is that you're getting mixed up in make sure you be very careful man because look at that in a in a day in a day is entire life changed bro in a day because of that one bad decision that he decided to do this because of him being in, in, infatuated with the whole with the whole situation of the, doing these crimes with the guns with the is his fascination with it was a little bit heavy so when sir is like you sure you're ready and he's like yeah are you sure you're not scared yeah i'm not scared you know what i'm saying to prove you don't need to prove anything to anyone my guy you know what i'm saying um and the money also you know what i'm saying the money as well there's also that as well that comes with it that you know just makes him it makes you feel like you're on top when you're really not you got the girl you're gonna you know you're about to get married to your girl you know what i'm saying i feel like he was on top of the world in a few days and then one day you decide to kill a man and you don't know who that person really is because you didn't ask any he, he did ask questions but he didn't get the answers like oh this is just somebody that owes jenny money he wants someone to take care of it and you're that guy you know what i'm saying and <sighs> Things just escalated so quickly for him. Then he called his brother because his brother works for Conte, right? His, his brother works for Conte. So it's like, called his brother to tell him what's going on. And his brother kind of shoo him off and be like, hey, man, I'm with the boss right now. I can't talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm at work. So that too, you know what I'm saying? That pushed him to the edge because it's like, damn, not even my brother got time for me. Everybody I'm calling, nobody's answering. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, this, this is, I, I totally understand, you know what I'm saying, where he was at and why he decided to take his life. Um, crazy, crazy episode, man, but great episode nonetheless. Very well executed, and that's why I'm saying, like, the just the fact that they were concentrating on his character this episode... I figured he wasn't going to survive the episode because he's not like a main person unless they were trying to build up another main character, which I don't think is what they were trying to do. So that's why I figured with all the other red flags around as well, I've just seen how things usually go when it comes on to these kind of things. So I just figured, yeah, he's not surviving the episode. And I was right. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always for another episode of Gamora, man. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. See you guys next time, man. Peace.